we'll see what Scanlon brings. And just get a look at the pro here, looking into the... Seems to be a lot of singles and that. He loves getting shocks at the fence. I got him a wee present here. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Some engine in this thing there. She's, she's a... <laughs> Welcome back. Today is Scanlon Day. The help is lined up. Robbie, my father-in-law is here. This is the wee man Noah here. Noah is 18 months. I don't know how much scanning he's going to do today, but he's here helping us get set up. We have the combo. We're going cruising in the combo here. Uh, we have the mobile race hooked on. We'll go and get that set up. We'll see you down there. Now, we are just loaded up here in the combo. She is some machine. She's going well, Robbie. She's beating like a mouse's heart, Daddy. Yeah. You heard her in one of the last videos there. There's some engine in this thing there. She's, <laughs> she's, a, <laughs> she's a fair machine to power now. Yeah. I'll just give you a little sound of it here now. She's a, a beast now. She's a beast. So we're just, beast from the east. <laughs> I hope we don't want to see that back now. No. Yeah, but anyway, about a mile away from the shed there, the home place. It's Saturday today, so we're going to set up the race. Scanner, Parik is coming on Monday around lunchtime. So the plan is, if we had all our gates set up, the race, the, the pen set up, we're on not my ground, different farmer's ground. There's no handling facilities whatsoever. So we have to set up a few gates to get ready for Parik. So I think the best thing to do is set up our gates today. And then first thing Monday morning, we can run our sheep into the pen, have them emptying out a little bit. The scanner always loves to have the sheep emptied out a little bit. Just makes it a bit simpler for him. Uh, more room for seeing what's in the sheep, I think. And then a bit cleaner as well. They're not all dirty and down on top of them. So we're just actually coming up to the sheep here. We'll give you a look at them. The sheep are actually looking very happy. They're enjoying this woolly grass. Robbie's just the job they've made over here. Robbie's just commenting on, on how good of a job they've done here. They've cleaned this off lovely here. And a few more days, I don't know, they could get three or four more days there. But we're gonna set up the mobile race. We'll give you a look when we get there. It's not too bad, you know, you still have it. Uh, yeah, he fact, still have it. He told me he wasn't fit to reverse it. I, I, I wouldn't be considered a good man, but professional now. Yeah. Not too bad. You had practice, of course, with the ESB truck and can't see the trailer behind you. That'll test you. Oh, that'll test you. Well, that, that was for real men. <laughs> <laughs> that was for real yeah. men. Yeah. yeah, but uh, level 8 here now, I'm telling you. No school boys in that no, uh, department. Uh. <laughs> God were God and children were not here tell That's what we are at, son. Good man, right, we'll make a start here, we get set up. Just have a look at this now. This field is the one that we took the old arms off. If you remember, uh, try and give you a, a look at the clip. When we came back, we run the old arms actually down to that swampy bit where the gap was. And you remember a couple of lambs broke out here. So we run them off this field and this field over here. So, this field was eaten quite bare, but look at the lovely grass that's coming back on that. It's amazing the job that sheep will actually do on this ground. That's a lovely clean bit of grass just coming back on that for spring growth. It's funny here in Ireland, we're in the middle of January here, and the grass is growing. It's been growing all year. Now, we've had a very cold spell. Mm, single digit figures and hard frost at night, and actually didn't thaw for a few for a couple of days two or three days and that would definitely slow the growth down but right that's enough talking next job is to get this set up here and as if by magic just like we're all set up so this is one pen for monday this will hold this batch of 150 o's the next job we have to go to another bit of ground gather more gates we're going to keep the mobile race here we're going to keep this race on the cruising combo and we're going to go and gather more gates and we'll set up the next pen ready for Monday. It's going to be a little bit trickier. We haven't got the hedge. We've got 
gates here, we've got a hedge, we've got some benefits here that we're not going to have in the next spot, but we'll figure it out when we get there. We'll see you over there. So we're on this other bit of ground. This is the second batch of yos. You'll just see them here behind me. This is the second set of gates from that kind of semi-permanent yard. We just gathered them up. So we'll get set up here. We'll give you a look at it in a minute. So we've a bit of a setup done with these gates kind of set into a funnel. We're going to use this yard here as a kind of a collecting area. We can close this across to here. And we have a couple of panels here in the back gate and we can connect on to Porrex crate. Well, that's the thinking anyway. We'll see what Munda brings, where he wants to set up. But I'd say that's a good, pretty good spot for him there. It's nice level concrete. It's an old flag off a silage pit or something there, I'd say. So you'll see the sheep out here. They're getting a bit hungry. I hope to stay here till Monday. We'll check the battery in the fence first of all. And we'll go and have a look at them. So here's the sheep waiting patiently. They think it's time for a move. They can hear gates rattling. But they're happy enough, I suppose. You'll see some of them are actually starting to show bellies. So we'll see what Scanlon brings. But that's a lovely clean job. That's ready for slurry now. We have a stranger here. I don't like to see them about. Uh, see a black-faced Suffolk type sheep here. I'm not sure where she's came out of. Um, not great. Don't like to see sheep mixing this time of year. The risk of scab. Now I've avoided it, but mixing like that is not great. But what do you do? What do you do? We'll hope for the best. We'll have to get her out at Scanlon. Uh, I see something else that shouldn't be here as well. A little yo lamb, a little Charlotte type yo lamb. But uh, yeah, sure look, we'll hope to stay here for Monday. So this is Sunday today. We're just in the shed with a little job. I brought the crew out with me. I have my two little girls, big girl Ada, little girl Enya, and the big man Noah. Noah is 18 months. So the crew is just here to give me a hand. So we have a little job to do. We have- Can run... I clean them up? Clean your hands? Yeah. Rub them on your trousers. They look pretty dirty. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Build up the immune system here. All right, we'll go to the next job, okay? I have two out of the three staff crew still here. Yeah, Enya's coming into the house. She feels the cold, so... These two little helpers are going to help me. We're going to get this washing machine emptied here. So, it's just finished its cycle. Uh, this is scanning preparation. So this... Uh, what do we see? There we go. So this old washing machine, you may have seen it in the corner of my shed. It's, it's actually an old machine. It belonged to Robbie. It was one that... The repair specialist came out and he said, cannot be fixed, so it was going for scrap. So I knew it was kind of a door issue, so I just done a agricultural repair, we call it. I just cut the little piece out and I can open it and close it with a screwdriver, but it works perfectly. I use it outside for washing my work clothes. And in particular, this job here, my... Uh, Flexitane and Bettercraft work gear. It is very handy for washing them because they can be quite dirty. You might have seen us in some of the muddy escapades trying to get sheep out gaps. And these uh, clothes can really get into a mess. So uh, we have all these washed, just putting them into the laundry basket here. Right, so we're just gonna throw these in here and we'll get them hung out. That is that job done. Hopefully they'll be ready for morning. Weather warning for tomorrow. Two or three degrees Celsius, daytime temperature. Supposed to be snow maybe coming. Not particularly nice conditions for standing around scanning sheep. But we hope for the best. So hopefully they'll be dry for tomorrow. We'll catch up with you then. Welcome back. It is Monday morning. Myself and the main man Robbie are here. It's a cold day. Nice hard frost here, you'll see it here. It's pretty cold. It is a north wind coming straight down from the Arctic today. So a lot of the viewers are worried about Robbie after his fall and he gets a lot of hardship and he's tramping up hills and 
I just thought I'd better look after myself, so I, I got him a wee present here. Oh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I got him, got him up here along, John. Did he's been complaining about the cold and on a frosty day like this, <laughs> yes, we get the long johns oh, on him and see. Yeah, there there oh. are special ones. There's special long johns with the trap door and all on them. He'd be a fine specimen now oh, when we get God these. Sake. The kitchen and queen. Come on, and look where you had to be. Well, Robbie, now I do wear them myself. Look, no man should go without them. Oh, for God's look at them for a pair of legs, boy. I've seen better things falling out of a nest. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, now you can't say I didn't offer to look after them. No, now. no, no. <laughs> right, anyway, he's not going to wear them. No. I might have to double up myself. Come here, we have a bigger problem. A bigger problem, Robbie. What? Across this hedge here, across this hedge. The sheep were down here and I'm just looking, we're all ready to gather them up, we have the gates set up, you've seen us doing that on Sorry. Saturday. No sheep, not a sheep to be seen anywhere. What are we going to do Robbie? We have to get them anywhere. Huh? Can't be located, they've just disappeared so always the way, when you want your sheep they're gone so we will go and have a look, we have pops in the jeep here, we'll get her out and uh, see if we can gather them up. Here's two more helpers. Yeah, we'll get them now in a minute. It's uh, the Land Cruiser here. Here's Charlotte back now. Charlotte and uh, Charlotte is Robbie's brother, and we've Mary as well. The big sheep school fans, they never miss an episode apparently. Come on, Charlotte, come in here. We have to have a word with you. I'll interview you. Oh, I can't have much time. I'm heading for the city. All oh, right. Are oh, we not holding you? Oh, no. We're not holding you. Hello, yeah, hello. How is everyone? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Everyone well. You're Ryan Tubbert, did you? That we're going to do you for an hour. Well, you're not available for scanning the day now. Sorry, not today now, lads. Well, no. they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. Oh, they're gone. No, we no, came, we're we're looking for them. We now. came together the and there's no sign of them. Ah, go here. <laughs> so they're in the next parish somewhere, but we get them somewhere. Well, no, I saw them yesterday. We were up here. Well, no one was ringing, so I had a leisurely ah, Sunday ah, anyway. Ah, but yeah. We'll get them somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Charlotte, show us your hands, please. Too soft, too soft. <laughs> too soft. Soft as the babies are. <laughs> Good luck with you, Charlotte. Well, hey, keep it country. <laughs> Come on, we'll hit the road. Now, the first job is to get my little dog Pops out. Pops, I've chained in today because I was on a school run. So we'll get her out. Come on, Pops, that's the girl. We're going to need Pops today now. I'm not sure where these sheep are, but I'm sure we'll have a bit of a wrestle to get them out. So we've our pen set up here, we might actually, we could open that and get ready here, Robbie. I think so. So we've a bit of a funnel made here. Um, so that when we get the sheep up this way, we'll hopefully get them out the gate. We'll worry about the road when we get them up this far, but we'll go and see if we can find them first. First thing to do will be find out where they got out, and we'll go from there. Now, this is the paddock that they're supposed to be on. You'll see I have the fence along there. They're on this lower bit. This is the last move in this field. There's an old pump house here with some ivy growing on. And it looks like they have been in here just where the dog is and went out. But no way, that's not, that's not flattened enough for sheep to have gone out there. So we'll keep looking. Oh, we have to, yeah. Anywhere that 150 or so sheep has got out is going to be well trampled. So we'll keep looking. Now, this is a suspicious looking bit of damage here. Yep, that's it, wide open. Straight out, across the ditch and out through a hole there. So, we'll hope we can get them out. My mistake, I always fence this field from up at the gate where we were, up, around, along down the road, down to this corner here. You probably won't be able to see that with the sun. But I usually bring a wire across to this corner and up along here. But this year I didn't. Cutting corners, time, and running a bit low on wire as well. But there we go. Now we're out a half an hour trying to get these back, Robbie. That's it. We would have had the wire up several times over. We know for next year. There's no talking to you. Every day is a school day. There's no talking to you. <laughs> no talking to you. <laughs> Come on, Robbie. No right, we'll keep going. I don't know about this. Will we get you an easier spot? <laughs> well, mind your head on the thorns, aren't you? We, see we it. can't have you wearing a crown of thorns today, now. Ah! Uh, ah! Oh, you see, this one will get out all right. Uh, yeah, it's it's plain to be seen, isn't it? The old, the old brown horse looks over the place. 
the really sort of a way. He seems to be saying to all the past, what well, well, folks have had my day. I'm simply watching the world go round and nobody seems to mind. I'm dashing past the motor car by a Rami's lame and half blind. Come on, Robbie. That's it for the day now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we might get a bit more out of you later now. Some, in some other day and some other song. Yeah, oh, let me see. Jesus. That's oh. a young man's game, that. Oh. No. Small hole, but there we go. All sheep out. See them in the distance here. And that's the, the rubber part there. They're one field away, a couple of hundred yards. Hopefully, we get them out here. Right. Now, we've just found our sheep here. Pops is just bringing them down. Ready for pregnancy scanning. Now you'll actually see them, this is the first time I've noticed them starting to show bellies now. I don't know if it's full of lovely grass or full of lambs, but we know by evening. I'll tell you something. They're on, they're on the pipe yesterday. Never ceases to amaze me, but wherever sheep break out, they always know where to go back in. Isn't it mad? People say they're stupid. They're not that stupid. They know exactly they're not supposed to be here. They'll head straight back for that gap that they came through the hedge. Yeah, it's just below the pole here. Hey, hey, hey. We've won under the wire here. So this is actually a dairy farm and another dairy farm. So none of it's fenced for sheep. That's why they're easily to break out. There's just two row of torned wire here. The sheep can just get under two row of torned wire. So I should have had the electric fence up, but we'll put it up after. The day the wind is not the day the scarlet for the print for here. You're right there, Robbie. You're right there. I think I, I've come to the conclusion, if you see a gap that you think sheep will get out, so we'll get they'll out. definitely get out. Yeah. So one thing I've noticed in this batch, there's about 150, 160 sheep here. I don't think there's one lame foot in this. But the, if, the other batch, let's have a look at them. We'll be there in a few minutes. I think there's more problems there. Well, to... All out. Not too bad. Happy days. Happy days. Now, Robbie, how are you fixed for more prey out? <laughs> well, uh, it's not the way we got in. We have to get out. <laughs> I'll put go part this again. Yeah. This is it, boy. This is the way you do penance, it. Penance, Robbie. Penance. I fought on the ball walk. <laughs> you could be sitting watching this morning or something. Uh, yeah, I'm watching. Dahi O'Shea. Dahi O'Shea, yeah. <laughs> Dahi O'Shea be better watching us. <laughs> more of a crowd, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, happy days. We're in, we're in our safe. We'll have them out. We'll have them out. We'll get these up to the pen first. We'll hope for a handy day of the day now. Oh, no, geez. we don't want any hardship. We've got enough hardship with them old lambs. Well, we'll see now. So Robbie's just gone out the gate here. He's going to go on up the road. And we hope the sheep will follow him. And if not, I can get out in the gate down here and run them back. Okay. But luckily they followed Robbie. So he's just gonna turn them back to me here and we'll run them into the pen here. Not bad Robbie. Right, that's this batch in. Off to get the next batch in. We'll see you there. Pen set up here behind us. The sheep, thankfully, are still here. Have you the fence off? No. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, lucky now it didn't oh, stick to it, Robbie. Quit. Bit of shock treatment oh, for you today now. <laughs> oh. Robbie's a great man. He loves getting shocks oh, at the quit. fence. I'll knock her off here for you. There you go. That's it. That's it. Disconnect. Yeah. Five golden rooms. Now we have sheep still here. This is well eaten. It's time to get them in. We we'll just have a look about here. Yeah, we have all sheep here now, so get them in is the next job. Now you'll see a couple of heads bobbing here. 
some feet trouble in this batch. One, two, three, four. You see one happened there. We'll have to try and get a look at them. Wetter ground, definitely being on wetter ground won't have helped things. Not too bad, we're going the right direction. Going the right way. Everybody doing the sums, putting down three and carrying one. <laughs> you have to investigate, Robbie. Come back. Come back. Shut up. No, we haven't much to tie that to, but sure, we'll hope for the best. Right, we have the sheep gathered up. It's the second batch gathered up. Happy days, actually went smoothly enough. Biggest problem is the farmer has only given us a week, or actually five days on the next bit of grazing. But we have more grass, but it's a little bit more moving, but as Robbie says, it's like a game of drafts this time of year. Just keep moving them, but we will wait patiently for Park. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Now we're set up here. Porrick has landed. He's you have a lot of hundred done already today, Porrick? Yeah, four or five hundred done. Good man. Well we'll rattle through these three. We'll not hold you back too much. Robbie's ready to roll. Good, good man. Fair play to him. We've a little we've a bit of the race kind of set up here and a little bit of a pen for Robbie just to keep going. And I am doing a bit of scanning here. I'm just recording the numbers on my reader. So we'll get to it. Two again. Four boxes, back with Lambert. Lovely, she's, yeah, she's a red rattle, she's later anyway. So, first two out, two sets of doubles. We'll not say too much yet. Twice, two. Two, okay. Two. Okay, I'm just scanning their tags here, their EID tags on my reader and recording the number of lambs in them that Porrick has given me here. Two again. Two. Two again. Two, okay. Oh, that's my lady. What? What? So how is the crate going after a bit of a refurb? I wasn't talking to you since that. Going the best. Yeah. Nearly time to do it again. Uh, you probably have. <laughs> yeah. You probably have a good few runs. Two. 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 Uh, you could have Two. 40, 40,000 runs through that, could you? Could have. Yeah. I have. Three. Three. Not the one we're looking for, but look, we're going to have a certain percentage of them. Right. We're just after tightening them up here. They're running up and down on Robbie in the pen here. And there's a lot of people concerned that I'm giving Robbie a lot of hardship, so I just like to make the thing a bit handier for him. <laughs> it's like a semi leisure day of the day, Robbie, isn't it? I like that one. Right. <laughs> You're getting very used to it. <laughs> we, we keep going. Oh, ah, you see lots of harsh in the ESB too now. Two. Two. two years on it, sorry. And only one for two of them. <laughs> ah, but Robbie, you were in another spot. You were in the University of Life by oh, that's it. That's exactly what it is, the University of Life. There wasn't many serve candidates. <laughs> Every day is a good day, Robbie. Now we're rattling away nicely. We've only a few left here. We'll catch up with you when we get them done. Now, last one in the race. Robbie, you played a blinder there now. Fair play to you. Ah, yeah, single. 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 I've done a good team. Now, that is the scanning done here. <laughs> uh, Power of a rough idea. I can't tell him, you reader. What do you think off the top of your head? You have a fair idea. Uh, 1.7, 1.78, 1.8. 1.8, we'll call yeah. it. Right, okay. We'll know better later on, but we're moving to this other spot. We have another batch of 150 or 60. We'll see you over there. Right, we are kind of set up here. Porrick's almost ready to roll. We're on this other bit of ground here. We had them closed in here in this kind of a, would you call it a courtyard type of a thing? 
have a bit of a pen here now for Robbie to gather them into and race connected for Porrick. We have a visitor here, I'm not sure, I'm actually not sure where she has came out of. A little Charlotte type yo lamb. No idea where she's come out of. Thankfully, she doesn't look to be itching or scratching. That'll be my nightmare at this time of year. But uh, a clean enough looking little lamb. We'll have to try and locate an owner. It's not many people with sheep around here, so she's traveled a bit of a journey. The song goes, where she'll end up, no one knows. Round and round the story goes. <laughs> Probably down a bit, Park. Seems to be a lot of singles in that. More singles than normal, yes. Yeah, gonna have to look into it. Would it be a ram? Not just sure yet. I'm not really taking note of the, uh, which ram they're out of. Um, but definitely more, seems to be more singles in it. And not that nice steady flow of doubles that we were having before. So, um, But we will have a look at it in closer detail when we get to the computer. How are you getting on, Robbie? Oh, flying here, flying here. You're a happy man. And two again. Two, lovely. Well, I'm hoping for a strong finish now. If we don't get the strong finish, it'll be a bad scan here anyway. It's, you're dead right, Robbie. It's not over to the last sheep that goes through the race. That's exactly right. Two again. Two, okay. Two, yeah. I think I keep this camera rolling. It's a bit of a good omen, is it? It got better. That's <laughs> improved a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and two again. That camera's working. Two, wonders. lovely. We keep it going. I hope we don't run out of battery now. That's about five or six twos in a row. Oh, we only jinx ourselves now. And two again. Two, lovely. Lovely. With this particular breed, I'd hope to be getting about 65, 70% of them with doubles. They're noted for twinning. Uh, clean sheep are noted for twinning, a twinning gene that they actually have in them. Single. Uh, and then the remaining 30, 35% is generally split half and half singles and triplets. Uh, not too bad for quads. We had a couple of sets of quads yet, but we'll have a look at it in more detail in a minute. Two again, David. Okay. Right. Just get a look at the pro here, looking into the. <coughs> I don't know what you call this thing. Single lamp. Just a one, is it? One lamp. Okay, maybe I'll go back for a while. <laughs> 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 I know. They seem to be. They seem to be working a bit better here. More prolific. Uh, two again. Two, I'll definitely stay over here. Yeah, I mean. That's safe. Yeah. That's your present here. This not because, very much. because you are a regular on Shape School, that's a wee present for you. Thanks very much. And thanks for your scanning work today. Now. No bother. Probably not the finish up we were hoping for. No, probably 1.7. I would say yeah. it will finish out at that. Yeah. Yeah. But very few empties, which is nearly better in the long run. Yeah, I, I, look, I'd be happier yeah. with a single than an empty. A lot of yeah. singles in it, but then again, not too many quads yeah. or no. major multiples anywhere. No. Good few triplets in it, but you look. We know more, I will run but through. Usually with hoggers, so if the suckle is la as last year, they often tend to have less crops. That's right. Year, the, and then next year we'll be prolific again. That's one of the reasons I talk myself out. You'll have mm. no yo lambs to scan for me this year. Yeah. I've enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, for now, anyway. Robbie, do you think we should get a few more? No, I think we're good enough. <laughs> <laughs> now, just back in the house here, I want to give you a look at how I get the data off my reader and onto the computer here beside me. Quite simple, just a cable. It's like a USB cable. It just plugs into the USB port and into the bottom of the reader. And once I power it up, all I have to do is sync the reader, loading memory information. So there'll be quite a bit of information on this. It's a while since I've actually taken any data off. It's quite a bit of weights and all our scanning results today. So I believe in actually inside the reader is just a quite simple uh, memory card. 
which can go corrupted. So ideally you'd be supposed to download your data at least once a week. So that's probably the downside to this reader and program. It, none of it's cloud based. It's all based on your computer, your PC at home or your laptop or whatever. So to get the data off the reader, you actually have to put it on the computer, but I don't mind doing that. Um, some of the more app based ones are quite expensive. This is more competitively priced, we'd say. So it's uh, for anyone that's interested, it's from TGM software in Northern Ireland. Uh, I've been using it since I started this and I, I actually like it quite a lot uh, because the reader is so robust and it'll take a drop. The battery life is unbelievable. I haven't even charged that since Laman and there's a lot of data on it. Now let's get to the bit you've been waiting for. So we'll have a look at the figures here. We have 548 lambs due from 307 sheep. They're the ones that were recorded. We missed a few between chatting to Porik, having the crack and trying to do a bit of camera work. Overall percentage 1.79 or 179%. Not bad. Let's have a look at the breakdown. Let's have a look at the empties. These are the killers. I can use filters here to see how many we have. So here we go with seven empties out of the whole lot. Not too bad. What is it as a percentage? Let's have a look. 2.3% pretty happy with that once it's below 4% I'm happy if you're getting over 4% you have a problem toxo or enzo something along them lines these are vaccinated now if you remember I even vaccinated them as hoggets let's have a look how many singles 90 singles quite high but as Parik said suckle as your lambs you're always going to have a lower crop the following year Hopefully you won't have that problem next year. So almost 30% of the flock having singles. Now, how many doubles are we having? We'll filter again here for scans of two. 175 of the sheep are having doubles. Not bad. Would like it a bit higher. What's it like as a percentage? Calculator error here. I'll try again. 175 divided by 307. 57%. Not bad, would like that a bit closer to 70%, but look, again, lamb and the old lambs will affect that. How many triplets? These can be the killer, just add to the workload. Thankfully, we've only 32 of them, not bad out of that many sheep, especially a prolific type of sheep. As a percentage, 10.4%. Very happy with that. That should cut the workload a bit. Uh, we had a few quads in it. Don't like to see too many of these. Clean sheep aren't noted for having quads. We have three sets of quads out of the 307, which is working out just under a percent. I'd prefer to have none, but look, that's the nature of the beast. Overall, very happy, a good scan. Thanks to Porik for scanning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks, David and Robbie. Keep it country. Thank you.